Now you got a great food. Me and Mama are going on Britain's Got Talent next year, aren't we? Yeah. Hi guys, it's Demi. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Oh, I look really pretty today. <laughs> I'm not joking. Actually. I hate big heads. Oh my god, shut up. You taught me to have a big head. Did I shit? You were like, be confident, girl. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, me and Mam are spending a day together and I thought I would vlog. We've got afternoon tea booked. We're going to go in some charity shops and Mam's coming to mine tonight and she's going to dye my hair because it really needs dyed because I have grey hairs now. I'm old. More than me. <laughs> I do. I've found two. Isn't that really bad? Can you say it? No. Guess mm -hmm. what? I've got two grey hairs in my eyebrows. That's really random. I know, I know but it's, isn't it? Mm -hmm. I'd rather, well, I can just pluck them out. Have you got a grey foof? I haven't got no grey foof. <laughs> Oh no, you've always shaved. <laughs> I do shave like I've took that after you. Mm -hmm. The favourite baldy. Anyway, enough Nobody story. Else. That was a really random <laughs> intro. <laughs> anyway, me and Mam are gonna head to some charity shops and then we're going for afternoon tea. It is vegan, but Mam was willing to try it because I sent her the menu. So mm -hmm. anyway, let's go to some charity shops. We're in Whitley Bay and Mam knows of a few, so we're gonna go to them. Yes, everything I've got on today is from it's the We'll do an outfit when you're standing out. I'll show them your outfit. All right. Okay. The only thing that's new is my shoes. Oh, you treated oh, yourself. Oh, as well. Oh, God. But I fucking know. Do you buy charity knickers? Do I fuck? I don't think I could do that. Nah. Mm, nah. So she's got blue floral top. £3.50. Cute. I like them pants on you. £2.00. Ooh, and your shoes on you. Yes. Oh, fancy woman. <laughs> you would never know. Lunch is actually one of the HelloFresh meals. HelloFresh is a subscription based service in which you can get food delivered to your door. It's a really good service if you struggle for recipes each week, you don't know what to make or if you live in a smaller household where there's not as many people in the house so when you go into grocery shops you have to buy like the big bags of tomatoes but end up wasting a lot of them. HelloFresh will send you the exact amount of food you need for the amount of people in your household. You can get lots of different recipes. I've actually just received three of their recipes because I really struggle with meal ideas and I just like to try new things I hate sticking to the same things when it comes to food but yeah it's just a super easy way to get all the ingredients you need to de deliver to your door so there's no wastage as well by over buying what you don't need at your general supermarket today I've got the aubergine and walnut pasta and it's so nice I have this one of the first times I tried HelloFresh if you would like to try HelloFresh for yourself you can get 50% off your first box and then 35% off your three boxes after that using the code COOKWOODEMI so it's a super super good discount if you want to give it a go, then definitely use that discount code so you do get it at a good deal. Okay guys, we've just arrived at the Victoria and Albert in Seaton Delaville and this is where we're going for the afternoon tea. It's honestly my favourite vegan pub because all of the menu can more or less be um, like veganised and every single dessert on the menu is vegan which is so nice so you can get literally so much yeah, vegan stuffy, vegan sticky toffee pudding and there's just so much to get and I'm really excited. I've been loads since I found out about it and then this is the first vegan afternoon tea that I seen on the Facebook group and I was like oh I'm gonna book that for me and my mum so that's where we're going now I did get some stuff in the charity shop and so did my mum so we will do like a little charity shop haul but um we're going in for afternoon tea first <coughs> Thank 
guys, so I've just had one of my little savoury things. I ate that, which mum's got, which is like a little cheese puff. Oh, mum's cutting into our tart. What's like in it? Our oh, little mini quiche. This is all vegan, guys. How good. Oh, that looks good. Oh, and then we've got like a little mini sandwich, a little wrap, and then vegan cheese. It's lovely. And then loads of desserts. Look at the little mini scones. They're so cute. I'll let mum do a taste test of the quiche. Oh, is it actually nice? Ooh. Oh, I love tomato. Alright guys, so I've got the it's tomato and like the vegan cheese cheese. I love tomato, that is really nice. It's got like a little bit of like a herb with it. Yeah, like a flavour, hasn't it? Like mm. You'll have to try it and tell us. Ooh, oh, it's like a bread. Is it like a ciabatta? That's what it looks like. Mm -hmm. What is it like, jammy or is it no savoury? Um, like a beetroot. Yeah, is it nice? <laughs> Mum's got a mini scones chopped up. How cute, guys. This is like vegan cream. It is so good. Um, and I've just had a, a bit of this which is chocolate and lavender cake. I don't think I'm the biggest fan of this one. I don't like the taste of lavender. I've never actually tasted lavender before so that was a new taste to the buds but I'm not trying to like it. <laughs> um, it was just a bit well, but that cake was lovely which is um, blackberry frangipan. Frangipan? Fran is that what I've like? heard one more say that word before, like frangipan. What's that put it in my mouth? I can't smell whatsoever. <laughs> Go on. <laughs> You might not, I just got a hit of it. No? Not unless it was all at my end, like that I've just ate. Me and mum are going for a hunt in Vienna, uh, not Vienna. I always get them mixed up, home bargains. So I thought I'll take you in and show you the Christmas fringe. We've had afternoon tea, it was really nice, wasn't it? Beautiful. It was really nice. Um, but yeah, now we're gonna go to home bargains then. Mum's coming to mine to dye my hair because I'm dying it blonde. Yeah, no. <laughs> I would be like, no way, not happening again. <laughs> Home bargains clothing range is usually really nice, and I like these joggers. They're like black and they have little pockets on. I used to have some from Primark ages ago. They're only nine pound as well, and they usually do quite a good size range. But they have some like slogan t-shirts. Their loungewear is usually really nice. Um, so they've got like a marble like hoodie. Oh my god, guys, that is really soft. That's a little two-piece set that they've got which is short arms oh but there's no bottoms they've gone missing but then they have a little navy set there but look at that that is a like dress that's actually quite cute i like that um a nice little long dress and then lots of jammies and stuff as well guys look at these christmas stuff little christmas scrubbers then they have some magic snow i love these hand washers bath bombs these are adorable. Look at that bath bomber little trays, little um, sheet masks, and then bath time treats. Oh, I love Christmas so much. Guys, look at this Christmas planner and home bargains, 99 pence. You can plan all your Christmas. That, oh God. Jesus. Oh, I'm dropping it all over. But I bought one from the card factory, which was tiny, and it was like £2. But this one is adorable. Guys, look at all these cute little ornaments. Ho, 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 home bargains. Milk for Santa. I really like that. And then they've got a little coffee one. I really, really like that. I feel like I might get that when my tray's up. And then they've got a beer, a Merlot, some little hot air balloons. They've got such a nice range of Christmas stuff. Oh, God. Oh, I thought it was a frog. It's a little dinosaur for hat on. So cute. So me and Mum have had a day out when charity shop shopping, home bargains, afternoon tea, and now she's at mine. And now my battery is fucking flashing red. That is great. This is great. I love life. I did have another battery out. Right guys, sorry, me battery charge. So yeah, me and Mum have had a day out and now she's back at mine and she's gonna dye my hair. So I'm dyeing my hair black. You know. <laughs> I am. I am, guys. I am. It's gonna be shocking. You're not gonna believe it. It's gonna be dark brown, but I've swapped the bottles. It's actually gonna be blonde. Aye. Oh, you probably come out red. 
Hmm. Right, anyway, we wanted to show you the bits we picked up in some charity shops because I know you really like charity shop shopping. So I thought, oh no, I bought you that, man. That's right. Mm -hmm. So I thought I would just do, like, show you what we got. So go Debbie thinks I buy weird things. Yeah, honestly, guys. Like, well, <laughs> everyone. <laughs> Charity shops for different reasons. But they like different things. Them, but let me eyes lit up. Honestly, guys, one of the things you bought is someone's <laughs> literal shit. Like I would never buy it. <laughs> Oh. Well, you might think my things are people's literal shit, so... Well, it's everybody's literal shit. Well, I suppose it is, isn't it? If they're getting rid of it, it's their shit. Mm -hmm. so. Anyway, I like people's shit. So, I bought... Um, the first thing I bought was this, which I think is really cute. It's a Christmas tea light holder. But look at the detail on that. Like, that would be really expensive in TK Maxx. That would be about 12 quid, I think, mm -hmm. wouldn't it? And it's like got loads of like detail on it, Santa Rangers, and then obviously the little holes will light up when you've got your tea light in the back. It needs a clean up because the top's a bit scruffy, but this was only three pounds, which yeah, I thought was good. Like. I think it'd be really nice. So Wouldn't I got hurt. that. Um, well, I'm gonna have like obviously Christmas displays, so I'll put it somewhere. And then I got a gorgeous vase which matches my living room. So my li living room's near the, as you can see behind. And I got this vase with a cherub on it. <gasps> Isn't that lush? So it's got like white polka dot, a gold cherub, and like holly. And then two cherubs on the back with more holly. Isn't it so cute? The of it, I think, think that's bottom. been hand painted. Look. Have a look at the bottom. Doesn't say. But I paid five pound trip. I think it's really a good. Five. <laughs> that's good it's all the detail that's been hand painted as well look oh yeah how much was that for that <laughs> you've got a fucking cheek we'll see okay you guys we'll see she's got a cheek to, to judge my vase this vase matches perfect my living room doesn't mm. it though do you not like it no I do you don't look I like do. it do. I'm more shocked with the price of five <laughs> it was in that expensive form, but I couldn't put it down. I liked it. Anyway, it nice. then I got some joggers, which I'd just seen on size 18. They were £3. Oh, they new. Originally from um, TU, which is Sainsbury's. Sainsbury's. But I had some like this from Primark ages ago, them. and I loved them, and they got a hole in them. They're oh, just... I remember them. I remember them. They've just got little pockets on the them down soft. the legs, and then the cuff. They're very basic, but I really liked them. So them. I picked them three quid. Which again, good it's good, yeah. Right, okay. I was debating in the shop. Mum was like, I wouldn't get it. I think it's <laughs> on the price, price, you know. Yeah, <laughs> which I agree with. But then I looked on Google, guys, and these were selling for 70 quid. And it was £15 I paid. So it was expensive for a charity shop. Are you going to wear it or resell it? No, I'm going to wear it. I'm going to wear it for a while. And when I get bored of it, going to resell it. But it is a V-neck sweater. But it's Gant. And Gant's like a really expensive brand. That's and in it, John Lewis, isn't it? Isn't it? I see online, online it was um the originally to buy it news it was eighty pound and it was selling on Depop Didn't for forty. Your mind. No, because you'll shrink it and it'll come out and fit the dog. Well, it's quite small fit, and anyway, they said it's an XL, but it doesn't look that big. But I Don't think it'll like fit. That. Um, but it's you'll got a good fit. I know it's got the little Gant logo, but I like the Gant logo because it's got um the no, colour. No, it's in a really cheap one, just because I always use these hair clamps. And they were just 50 pence. So I just thought, oh, I always get wear them in my hair anyway. And then I got, in the same charity shop for £3, I got a little Burberry bag. But it's genuine Burberry. And I don't I love Burberry, man. Mm. Bag from Jane Sheldon, which mum said it's quite a good make. Nice up. Yeah, and it's just a nude handbag. It's cute, isn't it? Looks like it's never been used. Though. No, it's a nude handbag and it's got a very subtle kind of red lining on it, but it's it's really subtle. Um, but this is what it looks like, and I liked it because it had this strap, but also the long strap. And I paid eight pounds, so a little pricey for a charity shop, but we're wearing like the posher like area as well, like weren't we? Yeah, I love vinyl records. Love them. I love them because I've got a vinyl record player. Yeah, did Bill buy you that? Mm -hmm. mm. And I just love like the crackling of it when they play. So I did buy four singles, four vinyl singles, which have all come back. And the first one is by Cindy Lauper. Girls just wanna mm. have fun. Is that her? That's her. But mm. it's all through the night. What's her? Like obviously our other, our other song. The other one I bought was Shay, Love Hurts. Mm. And Elton John. Cold as Christmas, 
I know these are older, but I do like the older ones. Mm. And a Motown one, and it was from Michael Jackson. And the song that it's on is Need Me Glasses. Which one is it? It's Maria, you were the only one that's on one side, and on the other side it's got to be there. Motown. Seven inch single. This is What's how, the difference this between is how the sizes? How are some of them really big? Because this has got one record on one side, one record on the other. Ah. The big ones is like an album. They can so play it's like load. a CD with like say 10 songs on. Ah. Mm -hmm. How much yep. were these back in the day? Oh, back in the day, I think I used to go every Saturday and I used to get one for about three ninety nine. Mm -hmm. But the ones that I used to get are probably all collect like collectors items now. Mm -hmm. Good. Mm -hmm. I think they're So I got cute. the four of them mm -hmm. for three quid. Oh, that's good. Which I think it's good. Usually sometimes they give them away for shit singers. <laughs> you guys are probably seeing shit singers, but I like that's in. In the next one. <laughs> No, I'll, I'll leave my favourite till last. But I've seen this and Demi says, yeah, I'll get you this. Because I love it. I've got like a fire, blue fire opal. I've got the earrings and I've got the ring. But I just love fire opals. I just love opals all together. Not the white ones, but I like the fire opal. And oh, that's seen that thing I've got, man. And I've seen this and I thought, oh, I love it. It's the necklace and earrings in the like, green colour. And it was, oops, oops, beautiful. And it was only £4 for the set. Mum likes like big gem things well, like this. It's not so much that's the colours. Your colour is beautiful. Like, mm -hmm. I wouldn't wear big gem like that, but. I think it's lovely. I might change the chain, like, because the chain. Yeah, the chain looks, looks a bit ratty, doesn't it? It was um, only £4 as well for the set. I'll give it a quick clean up. That's good. I and couldn't. This. I. <laughs> She still doesn't even know where I, in fact I don't even know where I bought them for myself, but I love them. I'm obsessed with them. Any shop I go into, I'll ask for them. Never got them. But a childhood memory of mine is, every time I went to me and Anna's, there was always like five or six grandkids there. So to keep her entertained, she would give her a box of these to play with. And for hours I played with them. And now with just an obsession. I've probably got more buttons <laughs> than grains of rice. <laughs> than more than, honestly, I just... Buttons. A box of buttons. Oh, love them though. Look. Some of these ones. <laughs> oh, I just love buttons. Look at it. There's loads of them, loads and loads and loads. Look. Buttons, buttons, buttons. I'm baffled why you'd want buttons. But this, that's just a dip in the ocean. I've got about another 12 boxes of these in the house. I just love buttons. You're bizarre. Do you just, do you play with them or what do you do? <laughs> Back in the day. Back in the day. The little sat, the little strip ones have got 24 pence on them. You Back look the them up. I bet you're navy. I bet you're worth a fortune. I'm a millionaire. <laughs> oh, blue. Look at blue. <gasps> mm. Demi, I'll make you a cushion for the living room. I don't want a cushion with buttons. <gasps> and look at You do. You do. Blue and orange. I think it's telling me something here for Demi's living room colour. <laughs> no. The autumn feel. Autumn feels. Anyway, guys, so that's what we got. What was your favourite item out of all mine and Mam's items? Let me know. Uh, well, if, if Mam's buttons makes you as excited as her, then that is exciting no, for I, you. Well, yeah, burberry and... Yeah, can't. Me, good and are good. But I like my Christmas stuff as well. Yes. Mm. I can vote off. I know, but I'm not going to yeah. crush your watch. I'll cut this better. Crush your watch, and I want to keep it for the like, yeah. reveal thing. Anyway, so this was this. So we're going to um, have our cut bars in that and then we're going to dye my hair. Oh, Mum's going to dye my hair. Orange. Um, <laughs> you imagine if they come out orange. So that is what our plan is for this evening. We've had a good day. We're going to dye my hair and it'll be nice. And I'm forcing Mum to make two TikToks with us. They're really exciting ones that I've seen and I really want to do them. So I was like, Mum, can we make a mm. TikTok?
so me and mum are going on Britain's Got Talent next year, aren't we? Yeah. And we've been practicing, um, <sighs> that's how we're sweating. We've been practicing this like day and night. Oh my god, amazing performance. Like, I think we could win Britain's Got Talent with this. I think we could. Do you? Mm -hmm. So I thought, why don't we like vlog it for my channel? Because then if we win, obviously we'll be performing this to the Queen and like I you think love it, mate. Oh, same. And you guys could see it first. And I thought, how amazing would that be for everybody to see it first? Oh, it's God, Demi and Andrea. What? Yeah, and we'll be performing the Royal. What's that show? I think I think it's so catchy though that they'll just they'll want it. The love <laughs> one. We'll be so everybody famous. Everybody will win by the end of it. I will be so famous. The Queen will sit there so we've been practicing it we're so good so any hate in the comments just isn't going to be needed because i think like you just know jealousy yeah yeah so are you ready to perform yep oh. You want your, your hair done. Right, guys, my hair's greasy after our Britain's Got Talent performance. But our audition's next week, so man's dying my hair. <laughs> We're joking, guys, but how catchy is that song? If you haven't watched. I think people will believe it, man. <laughs> man people will believe it. If you haven't watched um, Sex Education, people will be like, what is that? This is the hair guys it's like really dark but shiny it's so pretty i really like it um mom's gonna she's just are you on the loo oh <laughs> i'll get mom to show you the back of it um when she comes in to show you how nice and shiny it is but mom said it's all one color as well it looks like quite dark on the camera actually i'll just put my ring light on to show you what it looks like in the proper light because i've got this one here so this is what we're dealing oh wait there that's gone really oh it's because i've got it on the wrong set and haven't i so this is it it looks like it does look quite dark there but i actually really love it guys this is what it looks like but my gray strand is no longer so now i'm got my hair dyed but me and mum said i both like won't need to dye my hair for a while because like i'm brunette you know so anyway that's our story i'm gonna end this video here because i'm very last minute going to the pictures now with my brother so i'm obviously not going to be taking it to the pictures but yeah i'm gonna end this video here thank you so much for spending the day with me and mom i hope you've enjoyed it and if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up subscribe and we'll see you later for another one bye